Hi. Hello. My name is Alexa Losi, for those of you guys that don't know me. And for those of you that do, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I decided that I turned 22 in two days, so why not do the 22 things I've learned in my 22 years of life? And I'm going to be 22, and that's scary. And when I'm older, I'm going to look back at this and be like, wow, you are a child. But right now, I'm like, wow, I am old. Especially for YouTube, there's like musically kids that are like 13. Also, guys, I am currently giving away this. Um, because I don't buy things for myself anymore. I just buy things for you guys. So I have a link. It'll be the first thing in the description down below. But this is for my subscribers. If you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe and check out the link down below. And you can enter to win this. Yeah, it's just um, a MacBook thing. Pretty nice. So last year I made a chocolate cake out of a box. So this year I'm going to make a fun funny cake also out of a box, but this cake is going to be vegan, which basically means you still use this, you just use this instead of the eggs and the oil. So the older I get, the lazier I get, but I guess the more conscious of the world I get, which is a good thing. I'm going to make two because I'm going to make a three layer cake this year because I'm ambitious. Let's set the oven to 352 degrees. Oh, no, fake. Where are my bowls? Gosh, I need to get my shit together. Oh, here's a bowl. This is like not even a tutorial because I think this is like a first grader can figure this out. I was probably better at this in first grade than I am now. This is blowing my mind. Apparently it's also like better if you want to be a skinny bitch, so. I don't know if it's I mean, I think if you want to be a skinny bitch, you don't eat this at all, but. Okay, so 22 things I've learned in my 22 years of life while I stir this. The first thing I've learned is that I don't know anything at all. I think last year I thought I was super clever making this video and I thought I was super wise. And um, I realized that I'm not. I'm a child and I have so much more life experience and learning I need to get done and understand because I'm very, very far from it. Number two is that the world is the most competitive place ever, especially Los Angeles if you want to work in entertainment. So you have to work harder than anyone else. There are no cheat codes, there are no loopholes. You have to work really, 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 really hard if you wanna do anything good in the world. The third thing I've learned is to vote. If your country gives you the privilege to vote, you absolutely should take advantage of it. The fourth thing is to not procrastinate. I think that's like the sign of almost being an adult is turning things in on time and not doing it the night before. The fifth thing that I've learned is to journal every day and that it is the most therapeutic, amazing thing, and when you look back on it, it gives you a lot of inspiration and it shows you all the progress that you've made. Number six is to exercise, and not just to look a certain way, but because it's so good for your mental and physical health. Um, check out boxing if you have it. It's really, really great. Number seven is to take your anxiety and depression medication because for you personally, Alexa, it really helps. Number eight is to not make time for the people that don't make time for you. Number nine is to not take yourself seriously, especially if you work in entertainment. Okay, if you're like a brain surgeon, please, for the love of God, take your job seriously. But if you do anything else that doesn't kill people, like don't, it really doesn't matter that much. Number 10 is to build good credit. It sounds really, really nerdy, but like, it's gonna, it's gonna come in handy when you try to buy adult things. So um, don't do stupid things, and if you get a credit card, pay it off ASAP because Number 11 is to be more vulnerable. Be more vulnerable in your daily life. Be more vulnerable for the sake of the art that you want to create and for the art that you do create. Be more vulnerable in your relationships and don't be so terrified. Number 12 is don't let your friends treat you like shit. If they do, tell them they're treating you like shit. And if they continue to treat you like shit after that, realize those people aren't your friends. Number 13 sounds really, really cheesy, but dream. And then when you dream, turn that dream into a goal. And then when you do have that goal, turn it into action. And when you have that action, it'll become your reality. Wow, I should just be a motivational speaker. I'm really good at this. This might sound kind of weird, but number 14 is to stay at home. I have a problem where I travel when I want to escape the world. So when you have that feeling, stay home. And when you don't have that feeling, that's when you should go. This brings me to number 15, knowing when you should work and knowing when you should play. 
very distinct, different things, but equally as important. Number 16 is to take care of yourself. Like for example, you are really not good at concerts. Like it's a really good place for you to have panic attacks. So maybe just like don't go to as many, even though your friends are going and it seems like a lot of fun, trust me, you're not gonna end up having a good time. So I guess, yeah, take a little bit better care of yourself. Number 17 is to eat vegetables because not only are they like so delicious, but they're also mad nutritious. Oh my God, I wanna die. Number 18 is being able to sort out the difference between a friend and a friendly acquaintance because you should be kind to both, but one of them you should trust more than the other. Number 19 is FOMO might feel real, but not going won't ruin your life. Oh, where were we? Number 19, 20, I forgot. Always trust your gut because 95% of the time it's right. I think the cakes are, do you like that? I just had like an outfit change. I'm not even done getting dressed. I just need to get the show on the road. Oh, definitely not done. My cakes are done. Beautiful. Wow, I'm like really, really good at making pre-mixed box cakes. Hire me. Too tall? Not that bad. Okay. There we go. Ooh, so pretty. You usually have to like cut off the tops, but they're pretty even. Oh my God, I'm so pleased. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be telling you guys things that I've learned before I turned 22. There's no reason to have any enemies, even if people have done serious things wrong to you. When talking behind other people's backs, take precaution. Not only will talking behind people's backs bite you in the ass, but also, um, the way that you speak of others reflects the way that you view yourself. So if you view yourself poorly, odds are you're speaking bad about other people. And if you are speaking bad about other people, just just try harder to be a little bit more positive. Come on, pretty girl. Pretty, pretty. <gasps> Look, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to face you down. There we go. Be honest with you, man. She's a bet girl. <laughs> oh my god. No! Alexa, what did you do? How can we fix this? We can't. This is just the way it is. Oh my god. This is so sad. Okay, so can we just talk about how I actually did like a pretty solid job on this? Number 20. Like, don't forget to go to the dentist and like little checkups and stuff. Like, it, it is really important. Even though it might not feel that way, it's like, you gotta do it. 21 is to not be scared to ask for help. If you don't know how to do something or you're not good at something, there's literally no shame. And 22, I guess this has been the hardest year of my entire life and the one thing that I've learned is that I'm still alive. I guess now all there's left to do is blow some candles and make a wish because last year's wish came true. So, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and enter to win my giveaway because why not? It's my birthday and I would love one of you guys to win. And you're the absolute best. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video because it won't be on Tuesday, it'll be on Black Friday. Bye!